TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finished down 267. NASDAQ was up 10. S&P's off 16. Gold contract down $37.90, trading at $17.95 an ounce. We had silver down 42 cents, $24.37 an ounce. Late sweet crude off 89 cents, $68.40 a barrel notes and bonds. The 10-year down 12 ticks, 133 flat. 30-year off a full point at 161.28 in King Dollar. King dollar up 511 ticks, trading at 92,546. That's over half a penny. We'll see what King dollar ends up doing. Bottom line, King dollar broke its uptrend last week, broke it with conviction. What that means is that you had wide price spread, broke the trend line. Bottom line, you have a counter trend bounce going. We'll see how far this can go. Euro 118, yen 110.28, British pound 137 to one US dollar. We get over, we take a look at the spy, what you're doing out here, just hanging at highs. Uh, you're down a buck fifty, but guess what? You're still at highs. Uh, we'll see whether we get a slow roll happening. The NQs did fail on price and volume. What that specifically means is that you got over the high of last week, you closed underneath it, and you had lighter volume. We did 22 million shares. You had made it up to 382.77. The high of last week was 382.71. We closed at 382.11. Very subtle, bottom line, we did the same thing last week. It didn't make any difference. It still hung up there. Not that it went forward either. Uh, but when you do that, the bottom line is it's showing that you don't have pricing power and you don't have volume. So you don't have demand either. We know we don't have demand. What we haven't had in any of the pullbacks whatsoever is any type of heavy selling. The last time we had any heavy selling, uh, that was on the uh, 19th of July, as well as the uh, sorry, 6th, 19th of August. Now, my take is that that's where we're going to be going, meaning that that's the consolidation, the bottom of the consolidation. We'll see how it shakes out. Gold. Gold contract got hit out here. Two days, uh, bottom line. You get $37, but that's actually accumulation of, of two days out here. Uh, bottom line is what we have is this. Um, you came down with 247,000 contracts. That being said, the swing point is at the 1781. So gold's got to go a lot lower and has to have an expansion of volume in order to stay down there. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Ask them to go over to YouTube, search TFNN. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. He kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Sharpening your skills.